What is going on, guys? It's Sean O'Connell, the Managing Director here at Cinema Blend, here with Events Editor. How's it going? Eric Eisenberg from Cinema Blend. And we just walked out of the world premiere of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. We're going to give you our reaction to the film. No spoilers. We're not going to give away anything. This is J.J. Abrams returning to the franchise, wrapping up not just the three films that started with The Force Awakens, but also trying to put a cap on the entire uh, saga of Star Wars films and I'll go first in saying that um, I left the film uh, conflicted. Uh, I think that there are some good things that they tried to do in the film and I think they also faced a number of really large obstacles in trying to button up every storyline that had been started, uh, not just in The Force Awakens, but also tried to be continued in the, in, in, um, the Last Jedi. So there was a lot of material to try to juggle. And when, when they tried to add um, buttons to all of those storylines and make every fan satisfied by what happened, I think they struggled a little bit with that. There is some good here. I, it's not a all bad movie. However, I got to say, if it's not clear from my face, I have a heavy heart right now because there is just there are certain choices that this movie makes that I just don't really agree with. I don't think it was the proper direction to take in this franchise. I think there's a lot of stuff that I did really like that was especially done in the sequel trilogy that has been built up to now that this movie kind of ignores in a really bad way uh, just because I think some of the stuff that they really built up over The Force Awakens The Last Jedi was really solid. I, I'm a big Last Jedi fan, put that on the record. Uh, and there was a lot of this that just felt hollow and empty and just and like the fan service stuff didn't click with me and it's just... I. It, I'm just, yeah, I'm uh, disappointed. To me, it felt a little bit like the Return of the Jedi for this trilogy, sure. in that all of the characters are really confident in who they're supposed to be. It is wall-to-wall -wall action, yep. um, it, it, but it reaches too far back, back into its past to bring back Palpatine, who you know is going to be the main protagonist in antagonist, this movie, yeah. without act an antagonist, without actually figuring out what to do with him. And I don't want to get into any details about right. Palpatine for sure, but... For, it, it is an action-packed movie that never stops going. It, it has all these different storylines. It has some really cool set pieces. It has some really cool... Thank you very much for walking right in front of our shot. That was awesome. Yeah, you didn't see us, the big light, I know. Um, but, unfortunately, it just... Hollow is the word that you use that yeah. I think hits me the most. And I'm not going to use the word disappointed. I will. <laughs> Um, looking at the reactions on social media, it feels like we're in a bit of the minority. People do seem to really connect with what JJ was trying to do. Um, I I'm having a really hard time doing that. I really want to. I'm, I'm sad.